Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back to the episode of Fishing with Flair. Today's adventure is going to get started with a good old-fashioned mukbang. We're starting off. We're cooking some food. We've got burgers. It's summertime vibes right now. And we've got this right here. These are Butcher Box 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef patties. 80% lean, 20% fat. Boom! Third of a pound patties right here. We got three of them for three beef cakes. Literally making beef cakes in a sense, for three beefcakes. So, this video is sponsored by ButcherBox. They will be linked down below if you guys want to go check them out. And they are back. The wait is over. If you guys have been keeping up with ButcherBox, they were on a huge waiting list with everything that's going on. But the wait is finally over. So you, yourself at home, can click the link down in the description down below if you guys want to get 100% grass-fed, grass-finished beef patties and a whole bunch of other meat. They've got chicken, they've got steak, they've got seafood, they have a whole bunch of other stuff. I'll pop a bunch of stuff here. And it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. The best part about ButcherBox is they have multiple multiple box options so you can basically customize your entire box to fit your family's needs and set the frequency of deliveries yes i said delivery this stuff is delivered to your doorstep for free literally quality meat right to your doorstep no grocery store needed you don't have to go out in public you don't have to put your mask on you don't have to do any of that right to your doorstep you get high quality meat and you get to choose the frequency of the delivery so if you guys want it more often less often whatever it might be you can always change it and like i said they've got a whole bunch of different meats they'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check them out it is my favorite way to shop for premium high quality meats to consume. With that being said, let's get the burgers on the grill. Cheeseburgers have been served, Banjo. You excited? excited? You, you think excited? so? I don't cook burgers that often, so I'm excited. Ooh, look at that. Mmm, I'm excited. Ready, Banjo? Yep. Cheers. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. Wow. This might be the juiciest hamburger I've ever had. It's pretty... Dude, you're dripping. You're dripping with juice, juice right now. I need to be over here. We gotta be... We gotta have, like, a little spill can for this juiciness going on. That's a good burger. Is that English? That's a good burger. That was really good. You, you did good cooking though. Mm. I'm impressed. I don't really cook burgers much that often. I mean, I've probably done it a couple times in my life, but it's like, you know, summer vibes. So you gotta, you gotta indulge in some burgers every once in a while. Can't beat it. Mm. This is a terrible idea, you know why? Cause now I just wanna go take a nap. After eating this, I'm gonna throw the rest of them on there, munch away and go take a nap. Pool Jet, you excited? Sure. Oh, Pool Jet, he's up to bat. Sure. Give her hell there, Junior. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that steam. Cheese. Good burger. To the chef. That's right. Pretty good. We need some, we need some like fries or something with it. Should've I had Banjo's job. Banjo was on fry duty. He absolutely dropped the ball. But the burger itself is fire. It's pretty good, and it's, yeah. It's steamy and oh, yeah. it's fire. Oh, delicious. Good, good to go. Well, folks, hope you guys enjoyed today's little mukbang, a little burger grilling. If you guys want to get your burger grilling on, click the link down below and go check out Butcher Box. They've got all sorts of different meats. We've done steaks before. We've done scallops before. They've got they got seafood. They've got chicken. They've got pork. They've got beef. Anything you guys want if you guys are into high quality meats and you want them delivered to your doorstep, free shipping, click the link down below and go check it out. With that being said, enjoy today's episode. Should I do the old bunny hop? Shoo! How's it going, folks? Welcome back. We are out here on the river. Look at this river. We're floating. Banjo's got it. He's got it figured out. Um, we're out on the river. We did just wrap up a catfishing video, so if you guys missed that, we caught some big old catfish out here. Um, but before we take the boat out, I figured, hey, let's go do some Asian carp fishing. Uh, flying Asian carp. They're, they call them big head carp as well. Basically, when in the catfishing video, we were out with Trapper Jay, and he showed us a spot that had a ton of flying Asian carp, and they were jumping in the boat, and they were doing crazy things. And oh, Banjo, he's hungry. It's about lunchtime. So I've never eaten. You never had it. Never you ever had it? Uh -uh. Really? Yeah no. yeah, no, I haven't had it either. We're not sure. It, it seems like of the carp family, they seem the nastiest just because of their smell. Like, they, they just smell gross. So we're going to, uh, like I said, we're floating down the river. We're going to fire up the old Crestliner engine. And we're, well, no, the Mercury engine, Crestliner boat. You guys get what I'm saying here. But we're going to fire it up. We're going to head over to the spot. And we're going to see what happens. Like I said, there's last time we were out here, literally just driving around. And they were jumping in the boat. How did you make Oh, oh, shoot. Hey, Rick. How you doing? Oh, right here. Hey, how's it going? Dude, they're like sailfish, bro. I got one. Oh, right there you are! Oh! No! That was 
was it? Oh, right there, right there, Banjo. Hey, right there, son. Hey, how you doing? Dinner? That's that's good. Can, can we eat it? Not today, buddy. Come on. Today. We're gonna head over to the spot. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna keep a couple, do a little catch clean cook for you guys. Keep it plain and simple, easy for you guys. But remember, beefcake merch is now available. Link down in the description down below. GoogingSwad.com. Use promo code Flair get 15% off. You can get this shirt right here, this hat. You got old banjo shirt. Look at that shirt, right? That's a nice shirt. Hat. And the old beefcake certified. And the old cake hat. The Carol cake hat. Oh yeah. Bunch of merch. Link down below. You guys have been asking for beefcake merch. It's now available. With that being said, let's get freaking going. This thing freaking cooks, boys. We got it up to 52. Yeah. 52 with three dudes, three beefcakes. That's pretty darn good, if you ask me. Well, folks, made it to the spot here, and uh, old Banjo, he's ready. Oh, I'm sorry. We're doing hillbilly hand fishing. Yep. We're gonna see if uh, we're gonna see if we'll see if they just jump in, basically. So basically, there's a cut back here from the river. A bunch of these flying H carp live back here, and they get really pissed off when you drive your motor around them. Like they literally jump out of the water and smack you right in the face. Hopefully that happens to Banjo. You guys stay tuned. Mm. Oh God! Hey Rick, how you doing? Hey Rick, calm down, Rick. Oh God! Oh God! They're everywhere, boys. Yeah, we got one. Throw them in the well. That's a good eater right there, son. Yes, sir. Stop moving. Hey Rick. Hey, hey, hey. He's slimy than crap. There you go. Hey Rick. First one in the boat. Bony apple feet, son. Oh, that jumped right in. All right, we got one down, baby. Oh, come on, you almost got it. Oh, you almost had it! Oh, you're so close! Oh, you got, got one! He got it! He got it! Hey, what up? There you go. Finally. Caught him with the old net. I didn't even really move it. He no, jumped into the he net. He jumped into it. Look at that guy. Does he have an eye on that side or am I just blind? No. One eye Willie. Yeah. R really? That's crazy. He's one eye wonder right there, buddy. All right, we don't need to keep him. He's 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 too small. We can right, let him right, go. Right. Are you supposed to kill him? Aren't you supposed to kill him? I don't know. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to kill him. They're not good for nothing. Should we just keep him for bait? All right, let's keep him for bait. Wow, these are big ones, boys. Look at that. Come here, Rick. Right here. Come on, you got it, you got it. Oh! I don't got knocked out. <laughs> you can hear the thud on that one. I don't know what to do with my hands. Just get it. Oh! Oh! He got smoked! He got smoked! Oh Did my god! Did you leg? Yeah, he jumped up and hit my knee. Yeah? Yeah. I'm I jumped up to help you and I hit the gas and we about flipped the I was whole like, boat. What's going on here? You got it, don't worry, we're professionals. Oh, come on, we're close! So close! Oh, we almost got him! Oh. I got him. I got him. Hey, I dare. Don't give a kiss. Give a kiss. No. Come on. Why are his eyes like that? Come on, come on. I got one. Oh, you got one. There you go. Hey, what up, Rick? I didn't eat her. I ain't dare. Yeah, we throw him in the box. There you go. Oh, oh. <laughs> That was giant! That was massive! Oh my god! That was big chunks there! Holy crap! Oh god, they're still going. Oh! oh. Hey! Rick! Hey! 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 Oh, See you later. He hit me right in the booby. Were you wiping the lens on that? Dude, he smoked right here. I'm gonna have a bruise for sure. He, he speared right in the tit. D. 
dizzy or the heck, boy. Yeah, I know. I'm fucking with you. I'm about to throw up. Uh, uh, yeah, a little, a little motion sickness, boys. Oh my god. Right there. That was Chungus. Think we got enough for dinner? Yep. Yeah. Alright, we got enough for dinner. Let's go home. Oh, we got one! Oh, 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 we got two! We got two! What? Hey! Hey, Rick! Hey, 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 calm down. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hey. That one's gone. Oh, he's got, he's out. Hey. No. Is that our biggest one? That's, that's kind of a chungus one now. Look at that old boy. Oh, he's leaking. You know what I'm saying? That was terrible. Hey, hi, how's it going, guys? We got two dead fish here. They died on the drive, so that means the meat's probably really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clean this sucker as best as I can. I'll clean it like I clean every other fish, and it might be the wrong way to clean it, and we're certainly gonna find out how this is gonna taste. We're gonna clean up one for meat, and then the rest is gonna be cup bait for future catfishing vlogs, but go ahead and cut your, cut your fishy right down the old spine here. Now, this meat already seems pretty flaky. It's like cutting through a rubber hose. Okay, so you got your cut all the way down. Go ahead and cut all the way up here. That sounded delicious. Then take your knife and just cut. All right, so then you see these ribs right here. You're just gonna wanna cut alongside these guys. There's really not much meat on these ribs though. Go ahead and cut down these ribs just like that. Poke through the skin. Just like that. I mean, that's a lot of fish, Bonzo. You hungry? Next step, once you got your fillet, cut it down just a little bit more. Amanda, don't this just look neat? It smells neat. Oh, this, the amount of red meat on this is just... That's what tastes good, right? Yeah, that's the good flavor. It's the filet mignon. You know, those, is those, are those bones I'm cutting through right there? I'm doing a terrible cut job, because I'm trying to keep, I'm trying to get the red meat off as much as I can, but I'm missing a lot of meat right here. As precious as this meat is. I'm pretty good at filleting, I'll tell you what. How's that? That look appetizing? If you're like me and you suck at filleting, you got scales on here, you're gonna wanna cut them off without cutting yourself. I'm, I'm thinking half of this filet, what do you think? Could you, we could feed it to the pigs, that's still technically catch, clean, cook. Oh, this is about to be the best piece of meat you ever stick in your mouth, Bonzo. How was, uh, was that guy weigh? Good old four ounces. Really? I don't think that's so, right. Sounds like you programmed it, right? Oh, there's bones right here, wow. Real big bones. We're just gonna, oh God. Dude, these are all, what kind of, how do you cut around them? It's all bones right there, boys. What's your guess? Two pounds. Three pounds, six ounces. No way. Shut up. Your boy's a beast, bro. How exactly. Your boy's a beast, bro. Hey, listen. I'm I'm gonna die on the old Asian carp. Dude, these are this is all bones. Listen. It's all bone. The whole thing. This is the only thing I don't think has bone. Well, I just felt the bone. This whole thing is bones. This is all you. Huh. Dude, this is literally bones. I don't know if I, I, I might have messed this up, but. Look at that. Bones. This is worse than I thought. I might just pick three good pieces. Dude, there's the whole thing. Are we eating this? Is that the strat? There's still bones in this, too. The whole thing's bones. Maybe this one doesn't have bones. No, it definitely has got bones. Definitely got bones. I'm just curious, like, how one would actually eat this, though. Nobody eats this. It's all bones. Banjo. So this is a bad idea. This is your idea. We're eating this. There's bones, but we're, we're gonna have to eat it. There's less bones in this one. That's it. Let's go cook it up. Banjo, why did you? Why do I listen to you? This was your idea. No, this is your idea. So ban Banjo said, hey, how do we do Asian carp cat clean cook? What was that English? Huh? It's been a long day, folks. Okay, we're tired. It, it, yeah, so anyway, so here's, this is literally the only meat that semi does not have a lot of bones in it. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna lightly throw it in some flour. This is just to dry off the fish itself. Then you throw it in, that's right, hot sauce. Straight up hot sauce. Give her the old flip ski. I don't even have to ask Bonzo this question. We're going for the double dunk. I'd go triple. Throw it back in the flour, flip it back, yep. Pack it all in, make sure it's nice and evenly coated with flour. You could throw some salt, pepper in the flour if you want, but honestly, the hot sauce pretty much does what, what it needs to do here. Go ahead and flip it like this, shake it off, back into the hot sauce. So there's multiple layers of hot sauce in it. Hopefully to mask whatever flavors this comes out of these fish. This is one of those videos where it sounds good, everything goes well, so you cut the fish open, then you instantly regret what you do for a living. That's where I'm at. 
but yeah, listen, we're here for you guys. This is for you folks at home that have flying Asian carp nearby. This could be the filet mignon, and we'll let you know. Or it could taste like absolute ass. We'll also let you know about that. So go ahead and cover this. I say we just rip this one piece. What do you think? Yeah. I think that's enough? Yeah. That was just a process. I don't really want to do that again. Oh, wow, this is, this looks delicious. I'm telling you, what if it's good though? It, it, there's no way it's worse than that catfish we had. The Asian market catfish. Was, that was bad. But there's bones in it. Texture. This is what y'all been waiting for. The old dunk. Maybe the old shaky shaky. Mmm. Oh, she's popping. Hey, 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 hey. We're good. Oh, yeah. Dude, that looks good. I will say the, the, the look of it looks fantastic. I don't know how it's going to taste, but the breading, the old triple, look at that. That looks like something you'd order at Long John Service. Silvers, honestly, probably tastes a lot like it. There's no way it's any worse. So we're gonna let this thing cool off and throw some Asian carp meat in our mouth. Banjo's excited. No. I'm exhausted. Yes. I got boob slapped by a fish today. Sunburn. I need sleep. Ew. On, no, no. Ew. I, see, I got it. I'm gonna change a heart, folks. Fire. Smells incredible. Are we making this better or are we not? Do you think it's gonna taste worse than the cat, Asian Mark cat? I do if I, if there's a bone in it. If I there's no so. bone. Probably similar. Are you saying less or more? I think it's gonna be worse. Are we gonna put money on this? How much money do you wanna put on this? I, I don't know. This what is you, your what thing. You, I, 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 I don't know. Like, are you trying to put $100, I was dollars thinking like, I was thinking like 200 Gs. Yeah, I don't have that much money. I'm not a big baller I, like oh, you. Oh, okay, okay. No, we're, okay, we're not. We're just, right, just right, stick right. this meat in your mouth. Look, it looks good. I'm gonna say it's gonna be better than the catfish though, guys. Might be slapped. I don't know about you. You get that that hot sauce makes it better, but way better. It's like the texture is kind of weird. It's, it's greasy. It's very it's greasy. Yeah, greasy and kind of soggy. Yeah, soggy. But no. there's no bones, which I'm surprised. No bones. Flavors fire. I told you. I wouldn't say fire. Better than I expected for sure. I want to eat it again though. You wouldn't eat it again? Probably not. I don't, so. don't want to clean them again. That's yeah. sucked. We got literally one nugget off of the whole fish. But the real critic, he's yeah. He's got a, he's got a side here. Your piece isn't that thick. I had the thick. Yeah, I don't have a. I don't, I don't got much meat in there. Yeah. That's okay. You got it. Ooh, it's kind of mushy, yeah. Yeah, a little bit, a little greasy, mushy. The flavor is good. But the flavor's fine. Yeah. It's, it's not fishy, really. No, which is no, surprising. The I, think, I think you mask it. Mm -hmm. I did. Yeah. yeah. It was the salt. So what I did was I put it in ice water with salt, which helps kind of get the blood out and it kind of, it makes the water really cold. Then I threw it in the flour, hot sauce, flour, hot sauce, flour, fried it, took it out and put salt on it. And it's, it's very strong flavor, but it's not in a fishy it flavor. Bad, what are you laughing about there, Rick? Oh, you didn't finish your piece? No, saying? I did not. No. You, no? Would you rather eat this or the catfish? Oh, this over that catfish. Oh yeah. That catfish was bad. Agree? Yeah. That if I if I give you a out. piece of the catfish or a piece of this, you know what the difference is? This was like freshly killed. The true. Other one was like three weeks ago killed. Yeah, who knows? Also that was true. Killed, so also true. We we, we went to an Asian market. Literally, it's called the Asian market, and they had catfish, and it was just just I mean the worst fish we've ever had. This really was not that bad. Would I do it again? Probably not. But. I will say we need to bring back that old hot sauce flour because the flavor's there. Yeah. The flavor is good. It's just kind of a mushy, greasy fish. Better than expected, but Fair. still not that good. And, and the fact that there was just bones, like I've cleaned so many fish, different species. I've never seen a fish like that before. I'm sure if I, it was a simple YouTube Google search away from figuring out how to actually properly clean them. Can we get a, can we get a close up of this though? That's a good tan line. Oh, this that is was literally today. Yeah, this is yeah. all from today. Got, yeah. Buddy got, buddy got this burned. Is... I don't know how you didn't. You're just, you're glowing. You got it too. Sure. I know. I also got... What's that? We don't like to talk about that. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys want to see us go back to the Asian carp spot and take a bow and shoot them mid-air. And we're probably not catch a cook, to be honest nope. with you guys. That's going to be pretty tough to do. But if you guys want to see us do that, again, let me know in the comment section. Remember, Beefcake Merch is now available at GooseWire.com. Link down below. Use promo code FLAIR. Get 15% off your purchase. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you for watching. And peace.